Fort Zachary Taylor, or Fort Zach as it's known colloquially by locals, Fort Taylor as it's now officially known, is named for Zachary Taylor, who was a general, a great general, actually served in the Seminole Wars, and of course later became president. It is in Key West, and it protects Key West Harbor and was vital during the Civil War, as Key West, despite the local sympathies of the population being for the Confederacy, never fell into Confederate hands. It was a, a strategic city controlled by the Union, so important throughout that war to Winfield Scott, General Winfield Scott's Anaconda plan. And you can see the cannon range from the fort the cannons we're about to see was about three miles during the Civil War. So we're able to repel any sort of attempt by the Confederates to take the fort and therefore take the city. Fort Taylor continued to be an important part of the U.S. defense plan for the, uh, for the mainland United States. Through World War I and World War II, of course, this fort would play a very large role in the Spanish-American War, uh, which was uh, the closest conflict we've had uh, to Florida since the Seminole Wars, obviously. And today it's maintained by the state of Florida. It's not a federal monument like the Castillo de San Marcos or Fort Matanzas up in St. Augustine. This is a state property, and they've done a wonderful job maintaining it. Also, arguably, has the best beach in Key West connected to it. So this is an important part of Key West history and Florida history, Fort Taylor. Thank you for watching.